I've always been talking about this since I moved here. These low clouds in Oklahoma City seem to be more present and move very quickly. So I added that board. I've got my high end fed, high end fed 40, 20, 10 meters. Went ahead and just put it on the wire up in the tree. It's up and out of my way. Welcome to my third car garage. This is going to be, this area is going to be my ham shack slash workstation, solder station. Anyway, I'm fired up to ICOM 7300 for the first time since I moved here. All right, so uh, it's nighttime, about 9 o'clock. Um, the temperature finally dropped. We had that big cold front come through. Feels really good. Now I'm gonna go over here and just like, just start messing with radio, man, because I'm not out here sweating. All right, I'm gonna send out a CQ just to see if I'm being heard. 7058. I actually hope no one comes back to me because I'm not a little bit rusty, a little bit afraid, man. Let's see. I'm gonna check the reverse beacon network and see if I'm being heard. First time broadcasting in Oklahoma City. Here we go. I also wanted to note that I have that antenna. I do not, I do not have an antenna tuner. So this one will tune down. If you're three to one or less, it will tune. So all I did was hit the tuner and it's, this is a good antenna. It's pretty much resonant on 40 meters. So I'm looking at the SWR and it's low. So, all right, let's check the reverse beacon network and see if we got a hit. For those of you that don't know, if you Google reverse beacon network spot search, you can type in a call sign and, and see if it's called CQ. So it's a really good way to find out if you're getting out. So I just called CQ one time. Uh, I'm only using 14% 14, 14 power, which is about 14 watts. There it is. I've got really good, I mean, 16 words per minute. I was heard by about eight stations. I'll put a link up for you. I was heard by about eight stations, so. Definitely I can be heard, but let's, I just want to listen for tonight. So while I have you, this young man contacted me. I think he's like 14 years old. He makes these keys and I decided to promote him. So I put a link to his, uh, where you can, you can buy these for, I think it's either $15 or $25. There's different ones you can buy. Anyway, it, he 3D printed this thing, right? That's pretty cool, right? Let's give it a try. I'm gonna give it a test. Why did my light go out? So I'm gonna give it a test and see if we can call using this key. I just got it. I've never used it before. Okay, so it was a little finicky, but I had to get used to it. it, it it's different than this. Okay, this was like $400. This was like $25. So, and this is helping out a young guy in ham radio. Plus, if I lose this, no big deal. If I lose that, big deal, right? So, I, anyway, I like to have lots of keys of these. So, in case I lose one, forget to bring it, I've got a next one. So, let's see. Let's check the reverse beacon network again and see if I hit it. All I have to do this time is hit refresh. Yeah, it's about the same.
That's weird. Someone said they heard me on 10127, and I'm not on 10127. I'm on 7060. Anyway, let's tool around and listen a little bit more. It's too many. Straight key. Straight key, A A eight K Y. Um, I'm not set up with straight key right now. I'm not going to worry about it, but I'm just showing you how I copy right now. Let's see if anybody else is having a conversation. See, the problem I had there was the spacing was was weird, WB4YHS, and so I had a hard time having a hard time hearing that. I didn't get that. He's fading away. I've got a, I've got too much. Too much. He's fading away on me. I can't hear him. Let's do a little bit of listening on 40 meters. Like you see that more steam down so. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 so interesting here. Uh, you, you know, you have to uh, contend with uh, being stereotyped all the time. You know, you know, uh, you walk into a into a store. You know, you get extra eyes on you because you're black, or you know, and, and it's like, damn, you know, it's just nauseating, man. It's 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 uh, it's uh, it's, it's exhausting. It really is. So. Uh, what I what I start doing is, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm a very voiceless person anyway, man. I'm outspoken. I let people know exactly how I feel. And sometimes it's all sad. <laughs> they don't like it. But, you know, uh, the truth is the truth. I mean, I have to call a spade a spade. It is what it is, you know. Uh, and I, I let you know, you know, exactly where I'm coming from. And uh, my thing is this. If I'm walking in a direction. You know, uh, you know, here, you know, they expect you to maybe move out the way or, you know, uh, or let them go. It, it doesn't happen with me because, you know what, you need to get out of my way. <laughs> or uh, we'll move together, you know. Uh, and my thing is this, I'm not doing anything to make you feel comfortable in your skin. You know, your problem is your problem. I mean, if that means that you got to cross the street, then you cross the street. I'm not going to cross the Sounds street. Sounds like that guy's got or, a chip on his shoulder. You know, and you see, it's a chip. You see old people, man, they, you know, they clinch their pocketbooks. They call the police on you for no reason at all. You know, uh, you just walk in your dog in the park. You know, just, you know, and then, you know, everything is exaggerated. I've had that same thing happen to me. Man, it really is. 
just because you're a certain color doesn't mean you're the only one with problems. I always forget the volume is not up here. You know, uh, it was completely dead. So definitely something's going on where, uh, you know, where it's depressing things. I have not looked at the solar numbers here today, so let me just check those. And, uh, yeah, no, you know, I mean, not, uh, not anything to write home about, but it doesn't look too different than it has been. So, yeah, maybe something happened here where it's uh, kind of kind of tweaking the band. Uh, so, I run my noise reduction on all the time, and tonight I actually have it off. And uh, the thing I like about it off is the sequence of on everybody is so much better. Uh, you sound really good. I, for, I forgot what uh, mic you're using and all that. Sounds good. Well, I'm using the, uh, the Tenno TS590F, and uh, I'm using the, the uh, stock microphone, the hand microphone. And the reason I am, um, I have been following the development of this radio 10 years ago or 11 years ago uh, when Kenwood was getting ready to release it. And the Kenwood rep out in California had the only TS-590S in the country, and I, and I ended up working them. It was before it got released to the general public, and he asked for uh, opinion on uh, different microphones, and then he must have run five or six different mics on it, uh, a couple of different Kenwood mics, including, the, you know, the stock hand microphone, uh, some high old stuff, and, and some other uh, models that I was not familiar with. And, and uh, oh, okay, I, I heard him very weak and uh, distorted, but I heard his call sign, uh, you know, same with Ken. Ken was kind of, uh, uh, was a lot of QRM going on, I guess, so. But, uh, yeah, Bill was there, and he checked in on uh, the receiver here also, uh, once in a while, as you know, you talked to him the other day, but, uh, yeah, I could barely hear him, over. Yeah, Roger that. I could hear him good, though. He was coming in over here really nice. Well, he's coming in over here really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it a go and see what happens. I mean, I can't hurt nothing, right? Well, that's it. That's right. You got any single side man up uh, connected or not? Okay, okay, there you go. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's all, I mean, I'm normally on single side, but Sunday I cannot, uh, I cannot be on the radio, but uh, Saturday I'll give it a try. We're laying in the yard here, three elements for uh, 40 meters. So when that front moved through, it rained and rained and rained, so the temperature dropped down to about 58. Feels pretty good, though. Actually. But now we just got these cloudy skies. It's like we got June bugs, man. Well, that's what we call them, June bugs. But these little solar lights, I got them on Amazon. Um, because it's just dark over here. Well, this is real nice. I mean, the temperature's finally like 60 degrees. The wind's in. Oh, I love the fall, man. Love the fall. Just having a little, you know, having a drink. Do a little ham radio. So that antenna is working really well. You know, I was heard at 15, 10 or 15 watts very well. Um, right now, I'm just getting everything up off the table. That's why it's, it's kind of random. I decided to kind of consolidate. Remember, I used to have a basement. And I have an attic now that's bigger. It's much bigger. It's much better. I'll show you that sometime. Uh, by the way, I bought this triple light also on Amazon. For more, I decided to put it in the middle so I'd have more light. Anyway, this is, for now, this is my ham radio everything. Anytime I find something in my house that's ham radio, I put it here. Unless I don't want it dusty or something. Um, but, you know, quick, quick view of what I got. My U-Kits box, travel box. I've got, it's just, it's such a mess.